Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. In our interview question series, uh, question number 10 is what we are going to discuss. So basically the question is something like this. Can you set an expiry date for the service account keys in GCP? So first of all, uh, as per Google's recommended practice, try to avoid as much as possible generating a service account key. But uh, here in time, sometimes you will have a, a requirement basically where you have to generate the key. So if that key is being generated, is there a possibility of setting up uh, or setting up an expiry date is a question. Now, people may say I am going to go rotate the keys. That is a different one. Expiring, setting up an expiry date is totally a different concept. So I just wanted to highlight it whether this is possible or not. So uh, the answer is, if it is a one word answer, if you want to give it to the interviewer, answer is yes. It is possible to set up an expiry date uh, for the service account. Now, if I just show you a couple of screenshots, basically, uh, a few hours before the key expired. So I have written a command here, a gcloud command, which basically shows the expiry date, which is going to include also the timestamp details of it. Now, if you see, I have an expiry uh, key ID, which starts with 57, ends with 70. Now, it expired, uh, it's going to expire basically at 2.53 uh, UTC time. Now, when I ran this command, it was around 12 o'clock. So, the command uh, or the service account had not, uh, the key has not expired at that time. That's the reason when I tried to run basically gcloud auth activate service account, I was able to activate myself as that service account. Now, if you want to see the same thing, a view in the UI, it's going to look like this. This is a service account which I'm talking about. So this was a screenshot which I had taken a few hours uh, before the key expiry happened. Now, let me switch it to my GCP console and show you uh, what has happened now and what is the time currently in UTC so that you get an idea that the key gets expired. Now, if the key gets expired, basically you cannot run this command. If you try to run this also, it's going to show the token has expired. So, as I mentioned, the answer is yes and it is possible to do it. So, basically let me show what happens when the key expires. Alright, we are in our GCP console. Now, if I basically show the screen, you can see this was the key which we were talking about. Starting with 57, ending with 70. That is a key ID. It has expired, folks. Now, we can make a quick uh, this thing. So, let me try to split the screen between the uh, slide and the uh, UI. So, if you see the screen chart, basically, uh, this is the original console, basically, where you see this one is expired. But in the screenshot, it was not expired, just to give you a small idea on it. Now, we just compared the screenshot to for you to just get an idea that it is possible to expire. And you see there are two keys which has been expired. So, we are going to talk about this key because the other key, I don't have the, the key.json file, which I don't have it. I have deleted it. So, this one I wanted to show. Now, why it expired? So, basically... If you see the time in UTC, it is around basically 4 o'clock in the evening. The key uh, was supposed to expire at uh, 2 o'clock, if I'm not wrong. So if I just switch my screen back to the other one. So if you look into the screenshot here, basically the key was supposed to expire at uh, 2.53. Now the time is basically around 4 uh, 4.25 in the evening, so definitely around an hour, more than an hour it has occurred and that's the reason it has expired basically. So if I just run the same command where we had listed the stuffs, if I run this, it's going to show me the same details. So if I just authorize myself so that you get an idea. So the screenshot was taken only for the uh, reference sake. So if you see this, Basically, it is this, uh, expired basically already. So, what happens if the key is expired? If I run this command of activating myself, the key content is there in uh, key hyphen final. And when I run this command, basically, I'm going to get this message. There was a problem refreshing your current token. Invalid grants, invalid uh, JSON uh, web token, JWT token is what it's going to say. Now, 
basically there's nothing which they can do they have to regenerate the key and use it so this is going to be like auto expiry i don't need to much think about going and rotating all those kind of stuff if there's a use case like this you can definitely do it now how basically i can create my own uh, or how can i create basically a service account which expires a service account key which expires so basically if you create it from uh, this option create new service account for example service key i'm just creating it right now if i create it right by default it will never expire so i just created it in front of you just now this one it will never expire so 10000 years january 1st 10000 years is literally like a service account not expiring so but there's an option basically you can define in such a way that um, using basically this upload option using which you can specify your uh, expiry date so how to do that uh, i'll show that in a next video say stay tuned so i'll show you that in the next video so that's a video which i wanted to share today so if the question is more towards can we set up an expiry date to the service account the answer is absolutely yes it is possible uh, and if you are interested in seeing how this can be implemented uh, do check my next video on the same concept where i will show you how we can basically set this uh, with a live demonstration thank you for watching